Wo zum Teufel bin ich? Where are Lucas and Bradley? All right. We are out here recording our first impression review video for the little baby T4. Woo. And it is a baby cuz just look at the look at the little big brother here. The little big brother. It's hard to see like the videos don't do it justice cuz when I saw pictures and videos of this thing, it looked bigger than it was, yeah. but yeah. Man, it is definitely tiny. You see it in person and you're just like, oh. <laughs> yeah. So we're not going to do a range test today. We don't have enough time, but we're going to do our first impressions, how it feels, how it rides, see how it goes, and uh, maybe take it to a little pump track. Uh, first impressions is this thing is nimble as you expect it would be for a 16 inch wheel. The suspension is really nice too. I feels like it's going to be a lot harder to bottom out but I don't know, let's see. Um, this is fun, this is cool. The pads, your feet barely squeeze under their little pads. So if you've got big feet or wearing thick shoes or boots, I don't know if you're gonna be able to squeeze them under because I am like max squeezed right now. But that's gonna make for some excellent control when you're, uh, when you're riding. And I realized I got the beeps on this thing, so we're gonna need to pull over up here and turn those off. Hey, Lucas, how you liking that V12? <laughs> it's, it's, fundamentally, it's a fantastic wheel. Um, you love riding it without pads. I feel like I'm riding a wild Mustang horse that I took off of a <laughs> Wyoming field. I'm not surprised. <laughs> um, you just haven't rode many 16 inch wheels, so, I'm really curious when you get on this thing as well, what your first impressions are. It's, I, I love what it's connected to. I'm just not a fan of smaller wheels. Like you said, we were saying inside, I just don't have that much mileage on the smaller wheels because I've just always gravitated to the bigger ones. So yeah, this one, I stay like, you know, open-minded and Socratic about it. I'll, uh, I'll open my heart to it. And I really hope I love it because I want more wheels that I want to take home, you know? I got to say, it feels, uh very stable okay for a 16 inch wheel i'm like oh man i just turning on it's amazing i haven't obviously taken it past 25 kilometers an hour because it keeps beeping at me so uh i'm gonna turn that off how do you feel going back to the uh non-spike pedals it's weird I it's weird seen those for ages i feel like but honestly my my feet wedge in so much that I actually feel pretty planted. Okay. Because they're so squeezing these tiny little That little sounds pads. like my dream. Um, that like the oh baby, it's so smooth, that suspension. The master would have bottomed out, would have, even that curb. But, oh yes. So cushy, baby. I am a fan. I am really a fan. Ah, it was, the tire makes such a big difference and this tire is really good. I don't even think I'd put a different one on it to be honest. It's so stable, but so maneuverable. Oh, I feel like I'm floating. You're gonna love it. It's a great wheel. You hit me with something there. You said, oh, my toes are getting stuck in under and if there's one thing I love, it's having my toes stuck under a pad and feeling locked in. So that's like my number one favorite thing on a suspension wheel. I noticed I can't ride your S22 pad settings. Like yeah. literally can't put my feet in. Yeah, I jam them in there. These shoes are pretty low profile too. Um, shout out Vessi shoes, these are waterproof. They're, the, they're the best. Ultimate carving wheel. Seriously, this thing is amazing. It's like the T3. It really is like the T3, but uh, with suspension and a bit more speed, power, and battery. What what more could you ask for? A thicker tire? People were planning with a thin tire on the Tesla T3, but hey, let's do it. Oh yes, yes. Torquey, really torquey. I'm going up a hill here. Woo! 
Wow, so I, when I hit, I don't know what I hit there, but I hit a top speed and it started convulsing like crazy. I felt like I was on the verge of a cutout or something. That was scary. Um, did you guys see that? No. I beeped, and also, when I was beeping, it convulsed like crazy. It started shaking. Whoa. So, I'm sure that's something that can be fixed under firmware, but go easy on it in terms of acceleration. Oh, don't worry. So, I will not. Now I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go you up this. You said it started shaking at 60? Yeah, like convulsing. So, Take it easy then. yeah, I don't know if it was 60, but I put an alarm for 60, so it might have just... Yeah, I didn't feel like 60, I feel like that was maybe like 40, 50. Yeah, so not even at the top speed it was beeping, but I was accelerating pretty hard. Oh, doing it again. Yeah, so at about 44 kilometers an hour, it starts convulsing and uh, it doesn't feel good. And that's not going very fast, so... Something tells me there's probably a firmware update or something. Well. Okay, here we are. Maiden voyage uh, problems. Doing a firmware update. Um, Want to tell us what happened? Yeah, I mean, I was kind of on video when it, when it was happening, but uh, when I hit about 43, 44 kilometers an hour, it started convulsing like crazy. Not the wobbly pops. And, uh, it was beeping as well. It seems like weird for it to beep that early. Yeah. Um, kind of yeah. like, remember the S22? How it kind of did the same thing before a lot of people got it and then yes. firmware update fixed it. So yeah. it's obviously just a firmware issue. Um, but still, uh, kind of scary when you're testing a new wheel for it to convulse at yes. 43 kilometers. And it wasn't like speed wobbles. It was definite... Like mechanical shaking. Kind from of. it beeping, yeah. overpowering or something. Because the max speed is 60. Advertised. Yeah. 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 16, so, yeah. So we'll see. But uh, firmware update is 31%. We will update the update. Shoot. Okay. Yee. There we go. You might. Uh, we bricked the master briefly. Master. Uh, T4 briefly. <laughs> Thank you, Lucas. Yes. Yeah. It bricked itself. It bricked itself. Uh, the update failed, but we got the update to work. Let's see if that fixes the convulsions. Convul conv convul Let's call them wobbly pops. It sounds less scary. Wobbly pops. Ooh, gotta get your foot in there. It's tough to get my foot in that thing, but. All right. Let's go. Oh. I gotta turn off the speed alarm again. And re-update the speed. <laughs> Ooh, a little couple stairs. Oh, what do these look like? Just want to know what I'm getting myself into here. I don't know if I trust this on the master yet. You do. I'll probably bottom it out. Go, oh, no. baby, oh. so good, oh. so good. Come on, Lukey. Oh. Uh. Jack's doing it on the V12. Ugh. There's no bottoming out on this thing. It, it's really good. They really fix the suspension. Wow. I gotta say, like, normally it takes me some time to get used to a wheel, but uh, this is one of those wheels that I feel instantly confident on. Jack even came up to me, he's like, man, you look so confident on that, like way more than the V12. And it's funny, because I've ridden the V12 a lot, but man, it's just a confidence-inspiring wheel. Very similar, in the way that the S22 was confidence inspiring for Lucas, this thing just just makes me feel really good. I'm not a I'm not Ooh. much of a pump track guy. I like to shred, to shred trails. I'm no chance hens, but you know, it was kind of sandy. Dude, how have you sandy. ever taken me here on the S20? Do I film it? Oh. All right. He keeps all the good spots for himself. Oh, have you not been here? No. I'm surprised EFAM hasn't taken you here. See, it's really sandy here though, which is a little unnerving. I gotta get on the track. All right. Black butter. I'm going very slow for my first. Whew.
Oh man, this thing is cushy. Whew. This tire's decent in the sand, to be honest. It's kind of soft sand. Usually this thing is full of, it's really usually really wet, but we've had a very uh, dry summer after, well, once July hit anyway. I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, one more thing I wanna do. We're gonna come back to the pump track, but there is an area right there. We can really try out the gradient that we can climb. Now this is steep. What do you think the grade is? We're going to find out. All right. All right. Jack's testing the grade. 53. 53? Oh, God. I don't know. 55. No. Yeah. Is it supposed to be flat or is it supposed to be on an angle like that? What happens if you lay the phone flat on its back? It's, it's 55. It's dude. 55? Holy yeah, shit. 55. <laughs> do I try it? I would rock up that on the S20. How much, how much speed do you think I need to get up there? I'd say like 15-ish, like 10, 15. Oh! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll come, I'll come, I'll come grab it. All right, I can I, let you I, go. I actually think it is possible. You got it. I actually go. think it is possible. <laughs> Nothing to lose, let's go. Go, 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 go! Woo! Yes! All right! Woo! Easy! Nice. Easy! All right, <laughs> let's go! That is steep. Right. First impressions from Lucas. We only have five minutes of recording left on this thing, so it's gonna be, have to be quick first impressions. What do you think, Lukey? It is so agile. Yeah, stable though, right? Wow! Let's get that 190 pound guy on a 16 inch little wheel. Oh, so smooth. Yeah, the suspension's improved, eh? Wow. Like, I know you've been on it for 30 seconds, but first impressions. Yeah. Give me the bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Really, really, like, 16-inch wheel agility that you just want. It, it accelerates quick. It brakes quick. It's just, it's just nice. I know. I feel a lot more confident on it for some just kind of un- explicable reason than I do on the master right away probably just a smaller size more user-friendly but and like instantly right I mean that was 30 seconds in and I dropped a five or a six set normally yeah. I like you know I'm pretty apprehensive when it comes to yeah I mean too I don't you don't know I don't do many stairs that was the, that was the steepest shit by either of us have ever gone up yeah all right t4 I can already feel that it's light oh I don't know, maybe I'm too used to the uh, 20 inch wheels. This feels uh, almost too agile. I don't think it's meant for the pump track. Oh yeah. I think I'll definitely like it better on the, uh, on the road. Yeah, this feels weird on here. I like, the, I like the master on here better. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Okay. So light. Very nimble and still very smooth as well. Very, very smooth. It doesn't feel, um, it feels low to the ground, but I guess that's just the uh, shock. Maybe it's not inflated to my, to my weight class. It's been a while since I've been on the uh, Bagode shocks. This wheel needs to be calibrated a little bit. It's um, it's tilting forward a bit more than I'd like. Smooth acceleration curve, still very Bagode-esque. It's like a, still. it feels like a Tesla with suspension. Woo! Well, it's uh, it's smooth. Yeah. It's very smooth. Yeah. But I don't know. I still feel like I like my master more. All right. So 16 inch wheels, still not a fan. 
honestly, I, I gotta say, I, <laughs> it, it's not that I'm close-minded to it, but it's the first one that I'm like, you know what? I'll take this thing home. And that's saying a lot, because I am like outspokenly just, they're not for me. It's not that there's anything inherently wrong with them, but if this thing grew on me the second I stepped on it and my toes locked into those pads, I was like, damn, okay. And within 15 seconds, I dropped down a six set of stairs. It took me, took me an hour to do that on the master. You know, it's, it's confidence inspiring, it's nimble, it accelerates, it's smooth, it breaks fast, it accelerates fast. Yeah, it, it it's just it's just a, a ma and for the price, it's like, the most stable 16 inch wheel I've ridden. It's kind of like a 16 X with suspension a little bit. Yep. And like I know you don't have much experience on 16 inch wheels. I personally love them. They make me a better rider. They're super maneuverable and fun, and you can turn really sharp on them. I really really like this thing. I think it's gonna blow a lot of people away. I just really wish it was water resistant, but it does have a rubber gasket instead of a foam gasket uh -huh. so they did make it slightly more water resistant uh -huh. i will go in and kind of see what needs to be done but i would love to make this my year-round wheel because uh, it's the perfect little city commuter that can still shred trails yeah so, my my kind of personal final takeaway is obviously it's the only 16 inch you know commuter suspension wheel so it's, it's obviously in a league of its own but i really do think that uh that all the other companies, and even Bagon, when they make a successor to this thing, they're really gonna have to step their game up as manufacturers to match this thing, because it is something special, man. Yeah. It is really something special. I'm a fan. All right. I definitely feel shorter um, in this chair. <laughs> I love, didn't even bother with the tape, like, <laughs> just <laughs> hanging off. <laughs> so we don't have three mics, but we have a third person here. Yeah, we have a third person. Hi, I'm Monokat. <laughs> this is Monokat Cave, you didn't recognize her. Uh, most people don't know what she looks like, because she's always in her gear. It's a mystery. Yeah. And now it's unreal. Until now. Yeah. We, we, we should have had a, a, a X hat or a bag over your head. <laughs> just pulled it off. <laughs> Ta-da! It's Monokat. Face reveal after 10,000 subs. <laughs> yes. All right. So, hello, Gabby. Hello. Um, we just did our little review mm -hmm. of the T4, which I'm very excited about. But before we get into Monocat's review of the T4, the review's not over, so keep watching. Uh, we're going to... Do, to talk more. Talk more. Do, I'll look at some close-ups of it, and uh, we'll get her feedback in a second. But, um, yeah, we stole Monocat from Poland before that Germany. Yeah. So we're very excited to have her. Uh, she's been on the floor here for a couple of weeks now. A bunch of people it. coming here fanboying her or fangirling her. Yeah, mostly uh, so fanboying. Mostly yeah. fanboying. <laughs> Almost accepted. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun and uh, we're happy to have you. Anything yeah. you'd like to say? Yeah, I'm just like very happy that I could go here and that I have this opportunity because it's not an everyday thing that people are like, hey, you want to go to Canada? <laughs> so yeah, just happy to be here and working with EUC since Scooters all day, every day. Awesome. Very, we're very excited. We're also hiring Sergi, if anyone knows who Sergi is. I haven't even told him yet, so this could be news to him if he watches this. <laughs> um, as a technician, and Adam is going to be here as well. Um, not so much working at the store, but he's going to be working on our EUC.com blog. And by Adam, we mean... Wrong way. Oh, wait, you already have a mic? <laughs> <laughs> Double. <laughs> Wrong way. That was good. That was good. That was bad. Oh, that was good. <laughs> I'll go one higher. I'll do it. I'll go one higher. Okay, do it one more time. <laughs> you should just do his new intro for him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we can get um, Dave to mix it and get Aaron on guitar. Yeah. 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 Anyway, uh, we made a big purchase. Uh, we bought a three letter dot com domain, euc.com. So stay tuned. Right now, it just redirects to our boring old website. But pretty soon, we're going to have a blog up that Adam is going to help write uh, with co-write with me and we're gonna have in-depth reviews of every single wheel accessories um, riding tips um, so we're excited to have them and then we're also gonna do some clinics with Adam in Vancouver um, where you can learn how to ride backwards learn to ride upstairs some more complex clinics to make you a better rider right, so deep stuff uh, stay tuned for that but right now this is Monocat Kate Hour and it's very confusing Monocat <laughs> and has shares the same name with my fiance, so and she's actually staying with us. She just found a place, but she's yeah. been staying with us in our spare bedroom 
which is a living room with a sofa bed. <laughs> anyway, it's very confusing living with two Kates, but we made it work. Yeah. It also feels like I'm in a bit of a throuple right now. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It yeah. does. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's get into your thoughts. So I'm going to let you hold the mic. Okay. And you just, we, you wrote the T4 a little bit yesterday, and then yeah. you wrote it today. Today as well, yeah. So give yeah. me a rundown. Just a rundown. Like, basically, I was just writing it like to the store and back to your home essentially yeah um yeah so my thoughts are, i really like the wheel it's super comfortable to ride it's super nimble as well like you can take all the tight turns everything on the higher speeds it's a bit sketchy to ride it like 45 50 kilometers an hour it's it starts to become unstable um but besides that like on lower speeds it's very stable wheel for sure in the turns it has a pedal dipping mm. i don't know if you noticed that I didn't like, like angle if you're really, super hard on it. If I you just angle like... super hard in the turns, you can really feel like it goes well, but then some point it just goes whoop down. Okay. <laughs> I, that kind of like when I get some pedal dip during a nice tight turn, I almost feel like I'm kind of carving yeah. into a little bit more. I, I like I enjoy it too, it. but you, you need to be aware that it's I'm going to I'm weird. Happen. I kind of like the pedal dip. Yeah. I, yeah, I like the Sherman V1 pedal dip a yeah. lot. People hate it, but I don't know. I am, I like it. It just like points you into everybody. the turn a little bit. I don't know. I think yeah. once you get the hang of it and, and you know, the wobble we just kind of set the tire pressure to what we set it at too. And almost every single wheel that I ever get wobbles at higher speeds. If I lower the tire pressure a bit, wobbles be gone. Almost yeah. always. It is it, a 16 inch wheel. This one definitely has, when you hit 50, it is definitely less stable. 16 okay. inch wheels. I yeah. mean, other than the V12, I can go just 60 okay on it yep. and not feel, it feels more stable on the V12 to be okay. honest at yeah. speed. But this wheel, it's not really meant to go fast. It yeah. is really torquey. Um, I Damn wish right. it was like a 126 or 134 volts 16 inch wheel because I think that'd be insane, yeah. but maybe it'd just be overkill. But this is this wheel is reaching a market that is that don't want to go fast, that yeah. want a nice compact wheel that has suspension. I love it. I, I, I know I don't want to be chooch here and saying I love every single wheel I test. <laughs> but, <laughs> beat that name but, up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I, I actually really like the, the um, T4. So any, anything else? You were telling me a few other things. Um, Oh, well, we talked about the lack of kickstand. We'll go over that in detail when I go around the wheel. But is there anything else that you wanted to add to your your 10-kilometer review? <laughs> it's more like a 5-kilometer review, well, I guess. It there and back, right? Yeah. You had 6 kilometers there, 6 okay. kilometers back, so 12 kilometers. 12 kilometers. That's, that's good. <laughs> good amount for a review. <laughs> <laughs> Be you, better than nothing. Yeah. Eh? So, yeah, anything else? It's just very comfortable wheel. I love yeah. it. Yeah. I also really like it. It's... You, like, look, you look like you've been riding it a long time. Like yeah. when you were riding it and you're carving away, it looks like you have a couple hundred kilometers on it. Yeah. And that's exactly how I felt. I'm like, wow, I don't need to adjust to this wheel. Automatically, I am riding it like more comfortably than the V12, which is, which is pretty cool to me. Yeah. If, I, if I think one thing about it, if I just like put one phrase on it, I'd say like Insta Classic. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just, it'll be refined and they'll work on it. There'll all be other 16 inch suspension wheels, but to be like, first to market with a certain sub niche of EUCs and hit the mark this well, especially from Bagod, which, you know, is kind of hit and miss with quality and, and good wheels right out the gate. They hit it. They hit it well, in my opinion. And I'm like, you know, you watch our review videos. I've never been outspokenly positive about a 16 inch wheel. And, and, and still like I'm taking the S22 of it every day. I don't, I, I'm a bigger boy. I don't mind lifting up the wheel in my, where I live through an elevator and stuff. I don't need to carry it very often. I'm wheeling 99% of the time. So the size doesn't really bother me. So I'm still S22 all day, but I can empathize for the mindset of someone who's like, I mean, I got to carry it upstairs. I'm moving it around and putting it in my car. I'm taking it upstairs to work, whatever, even the small set of stairs, or I just, I'm not comfortable carrying a 80 pound wheel everywhere. I wonder if you guys can hear that. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, but for those people, unbelievable, especially if you're not in a super, super rainy climate. Um, like we had said too in the earlier part, it's got better sealing than the Master. It's got a rubber seal instead of a foam seal, so mm -hmm. huge plus, and we're hopeful that we can, you know, figure out a couple ways to make it a little bit better, but it's damn good. It's yeah. damn good. I, know, I, I really wish I had an IP rating because it would be my everyday wheel, yeah. rain or shine, because yeah. I, I, just for city commuting, yeah. but then to also be able to ride it on trails, 
Um, it kind of checks all the boxes. It is going to be my ride when I come to Amped Electric Games. Nice. So, yeah, for that. Yeah. Um, I say, I wrap up this. We will do some close up videos and we'll get Model Cat to show off all the little close up features, the tra trolley handle, the lack of the kickstand, all that jazz. So, keep watching if you want to see the close ups. Ciao. Bye. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not even going to try. <laughs> All right, here we are. It's the T4. T4 and the Masters, so you can see side yeah. by side comparison. It's very small. Like the T4 is so tiny. It's like a little baby master, which I absolutely love about it. It is. It's really the video doesn't quite do it justice, I feel. Yeah. Because when I pulled it out, I was like shocked how small it was. And I saw a lot of photos yeah. of it before, but... Uh, it's just something you have to experience in person. So if you want that, you could should should come to EVs. Yes, definitely. <laughs> All right, let's see. What is this thing lacking? Yeah. So what is this lacking? Um, lacking. Did you find it out yet? <laughs> yeah, it's lacking a damn kickstand. <laughs> <laughs> it just in the last night I put it down. I leaned it against the wall and just fainted straight away in the night. I heard like this big thump sound. I was like. Yeah, that's the T4, and then I kept sleeping. But <laughs> yeah, it's lucky in the kickstand, which is a bit of a bummer because you can't really set it up nicely anywhere. Yeah. Like even in those stands, I had like trouble fitting it in one of those stands and just like rolled backwards because it's quite top heavy. Yeah, you have to roll forward or back. So stand will still work, but it just kind of he has to lean forward. Yeah. Um, I noticed these things. Yeah, the backlights, they're yeah. adjustable. They don't look like they're supposed to be adjustable, but they are supposed to be adjustable. So yeah, um, I Th guess they're going to break a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> uh, they feel very plasticky. So I wish they were more plug and play. So like anyone could just uh, plug it back in, yeah. buy a new one, plug it back in. But no, it looks like it's going to require some. Uh, yeah, because the cable goes work. like right in there. Yeah, which mm -hmm. oh well, it's it is what it is. Mm -hmm. um, how about that handle height? Um, so if you like one seventy five. It, it, it's a bit short. Like I, I have the feeling like I, well, I sorry, can't really. 175 break. conversion. There you go. Uh, <laughs> five nine. There you go. <laughs> have to learn that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's a bit short. It's not terrible, but it's not comfortable to walk with it because it's so short. You have to be close to the wheel, and then you hit against the pads. Yeah, I noticed it was kind of short too. Yeah. It's not like. I still prefer it over the RS trolley yeah. handle. <laughs> yeah, but who you know, doesn't? <laughs> um, the screen's also this cute little yeah. little screen. I had no issues reading it outside, so they must have added a tint in front of it. Yeah, I was also yesterday riding like directly in the sun, and I could still see it. So yeah. I had no issue seeing that at all in the sun. Um, it has this charging port here, which mm -hmm. I believe can charge up to 10 amps if you have two 5 amp chargers. The the T4 we received actually came with a 5 amp charger, so comes with a fast charger kind of right out of the box. Yeah. Um, headlights, you know, it's yeah. pretty much the same as the Master. They're mm. not the greatest, but they're not horrible. Mm. Um, we haven't ridden it in the dark yet. Yeah. Uh, the pads are quite nice. Your feet really do kind of lock in. I can put my feet and in there. I assume that you could actually okay. raise this up slightly if your feet are too locked in. Yeah. But my like left foot for some reason is more locked in than my right. I don't know if you noticed that too. Yeah, I think I think it could so just too. be the way we set up the pads. No, I you got for more me space. they seem quite similar though. Yeah. To be honest, I wish my feet would be more locked in. I like to have it like super tight on my feet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can move these pads down when yeah. you set them up a little bit better. We should have set it up with Velcro, but we didn't. Shame. <laughs> um, the tire is quite nice actually um, yeah. for a street tire. It's Almost like a hybrid tire. Yeah, um, I like the tire. Turns really nice. I'm like such a tire guy. I went, like I couldn't <laughs> ride the S18 very well yeah. until I changed the damn tire. So, yeah. um, and now I, I love it. So tire makes a huge difference. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you this angle, you can really see the, the difference between the the size. The size. Um, yeah. What else? The pads aren't horrible except... Yeah, except here because there's like nothing to collect it, not even like a little piece of plastic. So if you push against it, it goes inside, which is a bit strange. Like if you have like a very tight turn and you press against it, then you sort of feel you're like moving there. Yeah. Which is not great. Um, then it has the lift sensor button here, mm. which will deactivate. 
Ooh. the motor, and then when you put it back up, it should re-engage, or you can, there we, there we go. There we go. So, overall, uh, well built, the suspension here, mm -hmm. that rig, is yeah. just so much better than it used to be. Yeah, because this was the, like, I never was riding suspension wheels much before, and this was the first time today where I went down some, some stairs um, with suspension, because before I only did it on the 16X and the RS a bit. Um, and I really loved it. It's like very comfortable suspension, right? Yeah, it's the smoothest suspension I've been on and I couldn't bottom it out uh, mm -hmm. Whereas I bottom up the master quite a bit. You can tell we've decked out our master a little bit We had a coil suspension. We had to get some custom welded rods in here to make it happen um, And then the tire of course is the Shinko 241 which is much better than the stock CST tire I just wish they had some sort of uh, kickstand system although this kickstand doesn't work on this master anyway, so Maybe it would have made a difference. There is a little hole here. I don't know if they were planning on making one that just didn't ship with it. Maybe the new, because uh, we got one of the very early ones. Maybe they will add suspension here later. Um, and then the 1800 watt hour battery. We will have a range test for you shortly. We got to mm. ride it until the battery's dead. So that's always fun. Yeah. <laughs> that is all. That's all. Like and subscribe. <laughs>